more Vietnamese people. Hello, hello, xin chào you guys. So we are here in the Trang. Hello. <laughs> Super friendly people, as you can see, we are loving. <laughs> I told you, super friendly people, we are What's loving. Going down here in the <laughs> yes, it is actually so nice. Let's head this way and try not to get run over by the traffic here. But you guys, I was just saying we are here in the train still, and let me tell you, this city, town, place, so far we're loving it. But it absolutely comes to life of an evening. It is probably like the most bustling town and it's such a surprise if you were here in the daytime you would absolutely not believe that it then turns out like this of an evening like there's people around everywhere we've got these little like bike taxi things they're like almost like rickshaws What's but this like? you sit in the front we've got well lit up streets as well it looks like we're gonna have like some street festival we got them in the back as well but this place is crazy busy you guys we've got like massage shop upon massage shop we've got ice creams we've got restaurants we've got clothes shops as well it is a proper little bustling place and so far i have to say we're loving it i am gonna get on the path because i'm scared that i'm gonna get run over <laughs> literally you guys it doesn't change that you do need eyes in the back of your head here as well because <laughs> bikes everything you name it oh, we've got some ice creams along here but we thought today that we will go out and get some dinner because it's that time of the day again we're always hungry but there's some really good seafood here in the train if you watched our previous vlog then you will have seen that we did actually try some of the seafood here already we got some more up here as well actually oh and some bar me and, and a car don't get run over we got some street food as well and we've got some seafood here as well look wow. at that but you guys you would never guess that this place is super quiet of a daytime and then it really picks up and you have like this bustling little square here okay we're gonna give it a go ready steady go 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 Ready? and go 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 and go and, and switch ah, ah. <laughs> and go and, 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 and. Oh, go. <laughs> hello go. we made it We've got all the lights on these buildings as well. Like they definitely super sparkly of an evening. Right, across the road over there is the night market where we plan to go. Hello, my friend. Xin yeah. chào. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Very nice. We're going there. Thank okay. you. We tried to cross the road now for like the second time without any injuries, without getting run over. All right, which way is the traffic? Traffic's coming this way, so. Let one car go, wait. Yeah. Wait for these ones as well. We can now go. Go. Right, good Thank you, my okay. friend. <laughs> Always an adventure crossing the roads as well. Go, 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 go. Ah, going, 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 going. Night market in one piece mission. Oh, accomplished. We're pros now. We're just absolute <laughs> locals. <laughs> Literally the first time when we came here, it was a mission. Not so much anymore. Like, give it a day or two, you guys get used to it. But. Here's the night market. Like, there is so much going on down here. Clothes of all varieties, shapes, sizes, whatever you guys want. Very nice. Got some t-shirts. You've got the mandatory calculator there as well. It's a Vietnamese thing when you guys come down here and you're shopping, you always get the calculator right. And when that happens, you know things are getting serious. Okay, we've got some hats. Big up Man United, yes, yes. That's, let's go, Man United supported in the house. Hello, hello. Now, like in the morning, this market's not exactly open. It only comes to life at night. Like all of the shopkeepers start opening up probably about five, six o'clock, something like that. But yeah, this place is buzzing right now. The dynamics of Nha Trang are, there's mostly Russian tourists down here, like too many. So there's quite a lot of Russians that come here. There's Chinese that used to happen before like COVID, not so much anymore. Uh, but there's a lot of Koreans as well down here in Vietnam, especially in the Trang. So this is the first place in Southeast Asia where we've seen people, the locals speak more Russian than English. So you live and you learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> 
I love the fact that you've got like lamps on both sides as well, the like lanterns. it adds more character. The lanterns, you guys, it's giving me Hoi An vibes. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. There's actually so much shopping I could do here as well, but I shop too much in Bentan Market, so I actually don't need anything here. <laughs> Uh, rice paper? No. Okay. What? Look at that. No. Okay, we've got some sweet corn I can see. Oh, you're grilling it. Okay. Got some eggs here as well. I think these are quail eggs, the little ones. That's looking alright so far. There's some sauce going up in here as well. Mayonnaise. I don't mind what the sauce is. And right next to this lady, we've got some lobsters here as well. Massive! It's all happening down here. Oh, we've got cigarettes here as well. Thank you, I don't smoke. It's baked rice paper. Baked rice paper is what it is. It's 20,000 dollars. I'm not quite sure what's actually in it. And guys, I feel like this is one of our biggest struggles, has been language. But mm. we're getting by, we're doing charades, we're doing charades. Or we just go like, no me. We just go veg and then we know we're safe. But this looks sick. She's doing like the corn right now. I think she put like some hey, onions. Hey. Okay, yeah, okay. Yes, yes. So it's like a onion. roadside subway. It's all happening down here. Like you literally need eyes in the back of your head as well. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. So I got approached by my friend here. What have you got? Oh my gosh, he's got one of these massage guns. Flip it now. That is really good. Oh. <laughs> This, this guy really wants me to like buy this. England. England, hello England. He really wanted me to uh, buy the massage gun, but I ain't got no space to carry it. There we go, we're done. We're back, no, we're not done. We're going on this side now. <laughs> Guys, I feel like all of like, the street vendors love Taz. Like they always go up here and he's always like the chosen one for anything like this, cigarettes. That's they just love it. Friend, but... well, how much is this? Oh my goodness! Okay, this is like rice paper, I think. So okay. it's like the when it's like fried and crunchy. But who's gonna tell my friend that we don't want this? You're loving it, right? But I've told him I don't want it. But why not? Why not? He's just showing the Natrang hospitality, I guess. <laughs> Ice cream going on over here as well. This looks yum too. Some good old ice cream going on. It's thirty-five. 35,000 dong for some roll ice cream looks yum, but I think right now we're waiting for our rice paper. Ooh. This is done, this is one. Come on. Yum, look at this. This looks good actually. So she's like cooked it underneath, like on the grill, and it's like obviously gone a little bit like burnt, but it's like a good burnt. You know that it's like all nice and crispy and yum. Look at that. There this we go. So we've got two rice papers Yay, there. Yay, yum. Thank you very much. Come on, you. Thank you. This looks delish and it smells even better. I think my hair's gone everywhere. Hello. Wow, wonder how she did all okay. there. Okay. Walk, Thank my you. friend. Everywhere. Okay. Thank you. Bikes galore. Bikes everywhere down here. But it's quite interesting. It's like. Let me try it with you. Okay, pop it on. But I like it. It's got like different sauces in this as well. Mm. Really nice. And the fact that it's been grilled. Quality. Local name is Ban Fang New Ong. Tastes a bit fishy, so maybe let's like some baby shrimps in there or something. There's corn, we got some onions, we got some maybe like some chives, maybe some carrots, we got some sauce, we probably got some fish sauce in there as well. Egg, mayo. I don't know if it's mayo though. Guys, if you know what the actual ingredients are of this, you can let us know as well down below what they should be or what they normally are. And yeah, but for 20,000 dong, that's less than a pound. I don't think that's bad actually. It's really nice. It's really crispy and crunchy as well. Hello, oh, my ice cream friend's going. Hi. Hello, where are you going? Come, come back. back. <laughs> Do you know the one thing that I've noticed about Nadrang? When you guys come here, you'll see it too. Everywhere you go in the city, firstly, it's massive. And secondly, it's got like high rise hotels everywhere, wherever you go. Like, look at this one here. This one, it's got like over 40 floors. It's like one of the tallest buildings here in the Triangle. It's Panorama, I guess. But everywhere you see, 
It's like very well developed. Are the police coming? Because everybody's just cleared out. Something's about to go down. Something's going down because all of the street vendors around here have literally all just packed up and gone like within 30 seconds. Look at them on across the road. But they're going. These guys are leaving. Mr. Ice Cream Man, he's already gone. What's happening? Something's about to go. Something's happening. Hello, my friend. Hello. Well, we've helped ourselves to a few massages down here since being in Vietnam because we came from Australia after a very long road trip over there. Back in the market, looking for something to eat. Follow your nose. Yeah, follow my nose. There's like a little like street food bit, like with all different restaurants down here. So that's where we're gonna head for now. Ting Chao. Yeah, Ting Chao. How are you, my friend? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Good, good. Very good. Okay, let's see. We are hungry. Yeah, let's see. Okay, it's like a little food court kind of thing inside. Who yeah. am took for D boy? Hello, hello, Ting Chao. Show me the food and I'll go sit down and eat. No problem. Hello. Hello. See, this is what we're talking about. Vietnamese people are so friendly. Love it. Love the hospitality down here. Welcome, welcome. So it's like um, a collection of restaurants down here. So off the main market night market street yeah, and it's like, on the side tucked away a little bit though isn't it yeah there's like four or five little places you guys and it, it feels like we're back in like the markets of like thailand and stuff like all the food markets the night markets they were our favorites so this is definitely giving us like a little bit of like thailand vibes and we are loving it let's see what's on the menu then eh special food Sea urchin. I've seen sea urchin soups down here in quite a few places back in Saigon and down here in the Trang as well. So, sea urchin. We have a lot of like Western foods here as well, though. You've got like French fries, we've got some spring rolls. So. What do you guys prefer? Cheese steaks or spring rolls? Comment below, let us know. Some fried rice, or do you go for some noodles? Mm. Oh, we got Cheese noodles with duck, beef, stir fried seafood. Oh, okay, we've got a lot of pork as well, but we don't eat pork, so we move on. <laughs> we have... Bad noodles with beef. Oh, we've got snails. Are you up for snails? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> not uh, feeling as adventurous not, today. I'm, it's not really taking my fancy right now. <laughs> maybe, maybe another time. Not right now. Though. I feel like there's so much to choose from as well. Like, there's always a really good variety. I think I'm going to take a quick look at the menu now, and then we're going to let you guys know what we ordered. So, bear with while we just take a little choose what we're going to eat for our dinner. Okay, we are finished up. That was delicious, you guys. Very, very nice. Very affordable, actually, as well. Really enjoyed it. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 You too. <laughs> that is so sweet. I actually love Vietnamese people. Like, they are so beyond friendly. Like, they can't do more to help as well. Like, like I said before, we have struggled slightly with like the language and stuff but they couldn't be more like helpful to try and like get through what they want to say and then also to try and help us like what it's we want to say yeah they're just nice they're just super sweet super kind but we're back out in the market right now it's still just as busy you guys it's actually almost 9 pm as well so we're still going strong we're still going we got people still bargaining trying to get their deals trying to get their clothes trying to get their food whatever this all is i don't know but interesting okay we made it you guys we made it to the little bit where it's a bit clearer a bit calmer a bit quieter you know all like families you can i can spread out a little bit there's restaurants there's bars all of the street vendors are back again yay <laughs> All the street vendors are back, which must mean that there was something going on earlier where they maybe they couldn't be there. But I think maybe we're gonna get some ice cream. There's roll ice cream here. Oh, roll ice cream here. here. Where's your shop? There. Okay, this one. There. Oh, I was just saying. Okay, Taz has been distracted by ice cream straight away because why not? Oh, we have mango. Go. He's putting the passion fruit on this one, the mango. 
Nico's going on this one. Lovely. Everything's um, happening here. The guy next to you is serenading us with his guitar. He is. Very nice. But for now, we have the ice cream going on right here. This is what we like. Cut, 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 cut. Two hours later. This is what we've missed about Southeast Asia. Yes. There's everything happening. There's so much for the senses. Your ears, your eyes, your nose, you name it. Loud, too many smells. We just love it like that. And for my mouth, because I'm hungry. <laughs> Again, ice cream's almost ready. for some roll ice cream, passion fruit and mango. Give it the taste test. Let's do it out of 10. Tell me what you think. Passion fruit's real, I can tell. It's fresh, passion fruit, nothing processed. No, they put it all fresh. It's, it's nothing that's come out of a tin or anything, so fresh passion fruit. Also, can we just say, we've actually eaten so much mango since we've been back in Vietnam. It's incredible here. It's actually so sweet and so delicious. Mm, oh, that's Vietnam has amazing, that's amazing, amazing, amazing mangoes. One of the best that we've tasted anywhere in the world, guys. Very good. Yeah. But we're going to polish up our ice cream now. I'm going to eat mine too because I need to put the camera down. Otherwise, I don't have enough can. So, I'm going to eat now. And then. See you in a minute. Let's go. Finish up the ice cream. And I think that we are going to head back onto like, the main road here where we were just before, where all of these like bike people are waiting. And like we said, they've got all of like the massage shops down here as well. Which is pretty crazy, like, it's proper buzzing, like, proper busy, even, like, now it's, like, what, half past nine and it's still crazy busy. We've got someone selling some leather there as well. Wow. Anyway, you guys, I cannot tell you <laughs> how many massage shops there are. Like, okay, ready? One, two, three. What's this one here? Four, Moon Spa, five, the next one, and six on the end. This is already fixed in just one little tiny bit of road. It is crazy. There's so many like restaurants down here as well. You've got like a proper coffee shop culture here too. Like literally, it is so popular for people to just come sit, grab a coffee, grab a like nice cold drink, sit with like your friends, chill out. We just avoided this motorbike that um, was actually driving on the path. So you're not even safe when you're on the road, on the path even. You're That's still... the Vietnamese thing. It is, right? Driving your bike, if you can like fit this. your car on the pavement, <laughs> you would do that as well. Literally, like they just come at you and they come pretty fast too. We are loving the Trang, you guys. It's definitely a super cool vibe. We've enjoyed it a lot. If you've seen the last vlog, you know exactly what we're talking about. Our room is massive and we've loved it. And if you haven't seen our last vlog, you should go and check it out right what now. We are going to attempt to risk our lives again by crossing the road here, not get run over, we hope. Oh, we're coming straight for it. Okay, we are going. I was going to say, I almost got caught then, but we're all good for now. So you guys, we're going to finish up the vlog here. We hope that you've enjoyed seeing the train come to life at night just as much as we have. It's such a totally like different vibe. We highly, highly, highly recommend it. On if you're note. new here, then we hope that you guys have enjoyed it enough to press that subscribe button it helps and we will hope that we will see you in some more adventures some more journeys some more fun times but for now we will see you in the next one let's go